On March 18, 2023, both Harold Pollard III and Theodis Brown were found shot to death inside of Mr. Pollard's vehicle. They were parked on the Detroit's west side in the 15,000 blocks of Hartwell near Keeler. Today, his fa their family is here to tell their story and to let the murderer know who it is that they took away from them. You know, I'm just here to, to find out who did this treacherous thing. Our son was a good young man, and he's out with his cousin, which is my nephew, the oldest, Choice Brown. We would like to know what happened. We would like to know why. I would love to know why. To take a person's life is just all kind of way wrong. Just like they took my child's life and my nephew's life, they don't have any problems taking your child's life or your nephew's life. So if you know something, please, I beg of you to please go forward. Tell the police what you know. This right here has taken a toll on us. We can understand that people would be scared, but you don't have to identify yourself, but please help us. The police needs help. We need closure. Help us figure out what happened. Why? To lose somebody in this manner, it's just, it rips your heart apart. You don't know what to do. He has a mother and auntie who just, you can't sleep. You can't eat because you're hurting. And you wake up every night at that time that you got that call that your loved ones are gone. Please, please help us out. Help the police out. I would. I would help anybody I could to figure out what happened to their loved one. Well, I remember when I was a little baby and I was in a store with my mama. I saw, when I saw every black tall man, I was like, oh girl, oh girl. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me a lot much happy remember, and I need someone to help us. And for the Lord of our blessing, make sure you're safe, you're happy, and you're okay. Harold. I call him Ace Boogie. He called me Lucky. He was the glue to our family, part of the glue to our family. We shared um, a day before his birthday. We shared good, good times. The choice was with us. We had a good time. One thing I can tell you about the glue, he loved our, his family, us. Whenever it was something going on in our family, I promise you, Harold was there. He would call me and say, I'm in your part of the town. I said, where you going? So you know I'm going to my dad's house and then I'm going over your mama's. I said, yeah, I'll meet you over there. But he always said one thing that I'll never forget. Got to be more careful. Got, got to, to be, be more careful. careful. <laughs> this is the got hardest. To be more careful. This is the hardest <laughs> devastation to me. I, I was, I'm still shaking up. When I say the glue, the glue sticks, and he stuck with us for a long time, and he's still sticking. But to know that he gonna come, that's, that's the big thing. That's the big thing. He coming. I don't care if it's a wedding, a party, anniversary, funeral, H Boogie there. And we gotta take this moment right now to ask for the city of Detroit, the city he loves so much, to help solve this case. We hurt very much, we all hurt. I just want to let y'all know, whenever I call him, 
even when I got a blowout on my way home at six o'clock in the morning. I needed just a little extra help because my baby brother didn't know how to change a tire and I'm like, I can't do it by myself. <laughs> so he, he drove all the way there to help me again at six o'clock in the morning. My uncle, Harold, was always there and he told me, he said, you know what, Sasha? I don't normally answer my phone this time <laughs> for anybody. But just know that any time you call me, whether it's this time or it's super late, I'm going to always answer and I'm going to always be there. And that was the truth. Now my Uncle Joyce, my mama baby brother, even though he called me his niece and his nephew at the same time, <laughs> I could call him when I was having any issues with some dude and I just wanted to make sure I wasn't tripping. He let me know you ain't tripping. If my uncle said I wasn't tripping, I knew I wasn't. <laughs> I baked cakes. I didn't go to school for it or anything like that, but anytime I made my uncle a cake, he loved it. We talked about me making him a nice cake for his 50th. <laughs> I just never imagined that I would be making it. He wouldn't be here to celebrate or to enjoy it. Whoever did this, please turn yourself in. If you know anything, speak up. Me and H. Booger, we have a bond that's like nan nothing. Nan nothing. Like nan nothing. I'm talking about he surprises me all the time. No matter what state I be in, he would always pull up to find me and comfort me, guide me, show me the way. Sometimes, you know, he's my older cousin, but I've been at the lowest in my life in times, and he always was there to bring me up. Now I don't have that no more. So now I have to ride this wave that I, I have to keep moving to the top. I'm lost for words, but I want to say, whoever did this, please, Turn yourself in, man.